Se ve, se ve en la movilidad en el agua, se ve en el tipo de ataque, se ve eh, en el tipo de, eh, de cómo sacar el balón, de cómo nadar, de cómo pasarse la en un montón de cosas. Pero bueno, muy bien para Castora, es el primer partido en la Champions Cup, eh, 8 a 0 contra uh, Austria. Próximo partido. Next match. So Bamberg against Firenze. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, ouch. Yeah, ouch. For the Italian. Yeah, yeah ouch for the Italians. Um, <laughs> well. So you think that Bamberg might win? I'm I guess. I'm guessing from that. Yeah, but nevertheless, um, um, Firenze uh, improved I think their game. Improving. And uh, but but it's a hard start uh, into the the tournament, and um, to play against Bamberg, which is one of the. Uh, Well, with with the, the with the Orcas, um, one of the top teams um, to win this uh, Champions Cup. Yeah. So. Let's see. I mean, um, Fidesz have been also every year in Bamberg. Wrote on the website uh, they uh, did uh, some did uh, um, special training uh, sessions preparing for the Champions Cup. Really? Okay. And they have a new player. They have. Uh, um, Hannes Trier um, in their team. Formerly he played for uh, BUR. Göttingen, then Göttingen for and Berlin then and the Water Rugby and then now. So um, um, Hannes is really an uh, asset. He can play goal. Sorry. Um, but he's also a furious uh, attacker. Um, when he's close to the uh, goal, um, it's almost impossible to stop him. I tried several times. You try? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> but um, didn't succeed. Um, so it will be interesting to see how uh, Bamberg will play right now. Um, for Bamberg, it's uh, quite of a tragic story with Champions Cup. Um, they made second place, they made third. Uh, they, haven't they never did win, um, and they always have been one of the top teams to win the Champions yeah. Cup. But um, I think the last two years they. Um, Did not win against uh, uh, the Orcas. Yeah, they lost. Yeah. Yep. Here we see uh, Hannes uh, Treo, the new player from uh, uh, Bamberg. Recognize him at once. Bamberg in blue, uh, German Bamberg, and uh, Firenze from Italy in white. Yeah, and um, the last two years they did it as third place, and in 2013 they made the second place. And in 2012, third place. In 2011, second place. In 2010, third place. So, yeah, so, um, I think these guys want to win this year. They're, I mean, Hallo auch an uh, alle deutsche Zuschauer, die jetzt um, gleich das Spiel Bamberg gegen um, Italien Firenze gucken werden. Um, wir hoffen, ihr habt ein sehr, gute, uh, sehr gutes Bild mit unserer Live-Übertragung hier. Wir sitzen hier im Dunklen, drüben Berlin. Und... Uh, kommentieren für euch die Spiele. Ich bin Wolf von den Sporttauchern Berlin und mit mir ist äh, Lorena, ebenfalls von den Sporttauchern und äh, wir kommentieren hier die Spiele für euch im Champions Cup und ähm, werden noch einige Stunden hier jetzt sitzen und die Spiele genießen. Gerade ist hier auch noch äh, Antje Frank, äh, die äh, äh, Leiterin des äh, der Abteilung Leistungssport und VTST bei uns, hat sich die Spiele ein bisschen angeguckt, um ein bisschen in Kontakt äh, mit den ganzen Mannschaften zu kommen und es ist ein tolles Ereignis, Champions Cup ist super geeignet dafür und wir wünschen allen viel Spaß bei den Spielen. Ich verabschiede mich ganz kurz, gleich wieder auf Sendung. Okay, now here. Yeah, keep up, keep bringing the the weapon. <laughs> we have four: Castores, we have Australia, we have Orcas, we have now USA. Collecting Newark. all these flags. I yeah, I like it. We have we have to fold the wall. 
I think we have we have one from Turkey at home because too. We are here. I mean, you cannot see it, but this is like a construction site right here. I mean, we don't have really a lot around it, so this is make like a homey touches, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Bamberg against Firenze. Well, um, I think it's uh, in favor of Bamberg, but uh, Firenze can give them a fight. Quite sure. I played against uh, Firenze in uh, um, the Firenze Cup and on other tournaments and uh, they know how to fight, they know how to stay in the game. They have experience. Yeah, they have experience, but it's a really, uh, it's a good start for Bamberg in the Champions Cup, so they get in touch. No, it's, it's true, Firenze is not an easy team. But uh, they, they have a good chance to, Bamberg has a very good chance to win. But, um, let's see, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. We are in the game. Uh, Firenze in white and Bamberg in blue. Bamberg in ball possession. And already on the way to the uh, Italian basket. Getting there inch by inch and at the basket and, and score. scored. <laughs> okay, I think that's a record. That was 19 seconds. <laughs> 90, I, I'm going to write it down. 19 seconds for first goal. And it's not like um, um, it's not like Firenze didn't do anything. So really? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, poor thing. Okay. Now this is with all the love. We love the Italians. We love Firenze. I even play for them many times. Um, but this is, I think, it's clear, you know, uh, weaker team. So, Freelancer is in ball so possession, uh, trying to break through in the middle of the pool, on the bottom uh, through Bamba, but Bamba just, Bamba player just uh, snatched the ball away, and uh, now they build their very fast attack on Firenze at the pool, but the player uh, having the ball is, is all alone, had to wait quite long, but wasn't attacked by Firenze players. And now um, Bamberg is grouping around the basket. Uh, now the ball is on the open side. But they take their time. They just build up their attack pattern around the basket and wait for a chance to break through. And now we're on the closed side. And the attack is coming from the closed side. And on the open side is already a player waiting uh, to get the ball. And now again, ball around from the close side attacking and on the open side and inside yeah it's just really fast back and forth you you saw the defense player was lying there and he was looking like what did just happen yeah. so it's, it's a really fast uh, game by Bamberg and really decisive so they don't mess around it's like uh, okay Ball playing, ball playing, ball playing, left round, left round, around the basket, chance, go, score. Yeah. I so guess they're practicing. So this is a... It's two zero and seven and a half minutes left from the first yeah, half. Yeah, two and a half so minutes gone to zero, so Firenze. Let's see, well, let's see if, Italia, if Italy can recover a little bit, because from the Austrian girls that play with Casores, at the beginning it was also more towards a goal, sorry and then they could recover a little bit and defend a little bit more. So maybe mm, Italy, mm, you know, gets there that they can at least practice to defend and position, get into position. And this is clear that, that Bamber is going to win. And I guess here for each team, is Bamber maybe want to, if they were practicing tactics and, and, and training, especially for this, maybe they can try to implement some of those things that we're practicing and Italy will try to stop them. So but we saw, we just saw Italy uh, fighting in the, in the middle of the pool at the bottom for the ball, lost the ball. Now uh, Bamberg is in attack mode coming from the close side in the corner, going for the basket. Now there's a furious attack on the basket on the close side, passed through the open side where the player is already waiting. We have a big chaos of bodies and uh, uh, Firenze almost recovered the ball but uh, Bamberg is too fast um, and we see Bamberg is really like into the game they they have the cutting edge right here um, to go in and to score and there is no 
no fooling around. Um, they come again from the close close side, pass over the goalie, who snatched the ball away, but is already attacked by three, four Bamba players, and now they are breaking free, try to break free, but are stopped by a four checker immediately and, and lose the ball, and now Bamberg again back on the goal. And they just stole the basket. I mean, the goalkeeper from Italy is trying to... Yeah. yeah. I just was correct that it was 25 seconds, no 19. So thank you, I corrected, Wilbert. Um. Um, there's a question when the next New War Games is, a New War game. It's in 10.30 Berlin time against Triton Malmö. So, uh, like, so two and Firenze, half hours. Firenze in ball possession, um, but stopped at the surface. Yeah, they are three meters away from the Firenze goal. There's yeah. a call from the referee and it's a free throw against Bamberg. So free flow executed and ball uh, already snatched away by Bamberg. We and have a uh, counter attack, but three of the Italians are already in position, defending yeah, on each side of the basket. They are defending quite well. I think they do everything right. It's just uh, Bamberg uh, does it better. Sorry, yeah, okay. <laughs> if they would do everything right, they wouldn't have three goals already. Yeah, but sure, I but, know, but, I know but look at that. Meant. It's yeah. just like... Yeah, um, Bamberg is a they stronger they team. I mean, it they, it they it's have... It's uh, it will be. I think it will be interesting to see strength. Bamberg against uh, uh, stronger teams and another one. Look, there was one against three, right there. Yeah. They were defending on the wrong side of the basket. Yeah. But uh, yes, I mean this is not um, surprise. This is not surprise. What I'm a little bit surprised is the first goal was so fast. I thought it would be a couple of minutes. I mean. Uh, it's just three and a half minutes left, and they're already four, zero. But um, right now, I think at the beginning, they, they, the pace of the goals were a little bit more. Now they kind of adjust a little bit, it looked like. Now they, are, they were trying to attack, but they lost the ball, and they're counter-attack of Bamber again. The funny thing is you have the goalkeeper and defender into position. It does not make the big difference, mm. but they're into position. It's like um, I said that they do it right, but uh, Bamberg does it better. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's gra grabbing on the neck, on the head. The three Italians. Three Italians try to, to cluster away one Bamberg lose. player, and they didn't succeed. Yeah. And, another goal. and they do it all from the side of the of the head of yeah. the goalkeeper. Oh. So from in, and they are from the closer corner, so we cannot see it really here how they're moving uh, the goalkeeper, but uh, I'm surprised that some because as a, as a goalkeeper, I know that when they're attacking you from the head side, then you have the chance to do something with your head. No, normally, it's a bit faster on your on your back side, not on the head side. So, but we'll hopefully once in the future we can have cameras three-dimensional, mm. <laughs> and we can see all of the corners. Um, so now Italy is trying to start an attack three meters away of Bamberg goal, but very slow, very I not think knowing what to do. One of the, really the secrets daring. from Bamberg is also the forechecking, which is uh, uh, very effective. So if they go for the, for the ball um, of their opponent, um, they get it. We're now in the close corner. Um, at the Bamberg basket, we don't see what's happening there. It should be. It, it looks like it's really in the corner, down in the bottom of the basket. Um, it's not like a cluster, but a close quarter fight there. And a Bamberg player is breaking through. Uh, second, third Bamberg player, there. and they go so as a there. team, but they don't seem to s oh, well, seem to see each other. It was a little misunderstanding with the ball playing, but. Uh, the attack from the open side of one of the Bamberg players is trying to push away the head of the Bamberg player but does not succeed and the ball is stolen away, taken away by a fierce player who uh, 
holds really tight to it and they try to counter attack now and it's that's really nice one they go in two players three players that from nice uh, Fidenza. Counter. yeah nice counter attack there at the basket of uh, Bamberg but they're stopped by the defense and the ball is pushed away and then we have the counter attack from Bamberg and this is happening fast too yeah and uh, probably will be succeeded uh, by another goal so here we go from the open from side, the back side that's the Hannes 2 again. Yeah. Well, I'm surprised that after the contract he didn't attack the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was alone, but um, normally, you, sh you know, when it's one against one, you should take advantage. Okay, it's 5-0, I'm just saying from the tactical point of view, not from the game. Um, because also things that they also should practice and they have the chance now. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Still, Italy is defending the, ah. way, the best way they can. I mean, the first half, the first 10 yeah. minutes are over, and they have now three minutes to recover a little bit. 5 0 for Bamberg. And so, the game please is, yeah, also watch right our here. Facebook site, which is uh, covered by Eva, uh, who does uh, the pictures in the pool area, and she's uploading them on Facebook. So go to the Champions Cup Facebook site, so we'll, uh, you will see the impressions from uh, the pool area. Uh, sadly, our upload is a little bit slow here, so probably the pictures are not coming up this fast. But nevertheless, you get a feeling for the atmosphere in the, in the pool area, in the hall. I'm going to do something important. Continue talking. You do something important, you do... S and I should... Okay. I can do that. Okay. So, Bamberg. Um, as you might know, um, uh, Bamberg is the 10 times uh, German uh, champion. They succeeded again this year against Malch, uh, like always against Malch in the finals uh, in the German championships. And uh, it's quite difficult sometimes for Bamberg um, to find opponents before they come uh, to the Champions Cup. So here is always the big test for them to mess with um, with equal teams, which uh, probably Firenze is not. But uh, nevertheless, they are a challenge. Um, and they will meet uh, other teams who will put more of a challenge uh, to them. Let's see how they will uh, play further on in the tournament. Right here, right now here in Berlin, it's 8:30 uh, uh, in the evening. It's cold and foggy outside, a little bit uh, humid. Not a very nice weather. Good weather to play uh, underwater rugby at the pool, on the inside. And uh, we're at uh, team game uh, 10. So six games more to go today. I just brought I com and continue the decoration. Exactly. Move a little bit so people can see. <laughs> we have the <laughs> men uh, trophy here and the women trophy here. No, so part of the decoration. <laughs> um, okay, 18 seconds left to continue the second half of the game. Bamberg against Firenze. Let's see if Italy can recover a little bit and uh, maybe don't get five goals again. I mean, it's five zero and 10 minutes to go second half. After that is Lange Newark, uh, the girls playing. Okay, so Bamba recover and let's see, they're about to attack but uh, the Italians could defend a little better. Um, still on the Italian basket, of attacking from the opening, uh, from the open side and passing the ball. It's like three or four Bamber players there. There was also like two or three Italians, but um, from the close corner, uh, they achieved a goal. It took a little bit longer than 25 seconds. I think it was about 45 this time. No, less, 35. But um, probably not. Mm, okay, the TV 
is already uh, wrong. It's not Langen against Newark. That's the next game. We're still watching the second half of Firenze against Bamberg. And the um, Firenze team is trying to get closer to the basket from Bamberg. So they haven't succeeded so much uh, on doing that. Now they're fighting in the middle of the pool. And um, you can see where the ball is. They're in the <coughs> bottom. The Firenze uh, attacker approach the basket. They have already the defenders and goalkeeper into position. Still, Italy keeps on possession of the ball, but they're quite far away. Uh, Bamber is for checking and destroying or completely yeah, it's, it's um, just interrupting <coughs> the attack. So now um, they're fighting in the middle of the pool, trying to start it's the, you, the you next You can attack. see in, in, the, in, the, in the movements of uh, the Firenze guys, sometimes there's a little bit of hesitation when they are all alone. And that's the second it takes Bamberg to snatch the ball away and to interfere with the with the attack patterns and uh, the the forward patterns of Firenze. So it's 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 amazing how Bamberg uh, goes into these uh, loopholes and just to to take over the game. They do that quite well, and uh, I'm looking forward to see them playing against uh, uh, a stronger opponent. Um, right now we are uh, in the middle of the pool and uh, call from the referee holding without ball probably no the referee out of the water um, give a sign it's a free throw against Bamberg and uh, it tells something uh, about uh, the this, uh, the feeling of security Bamberg is in, they don't even go down uh, to to go in defense. They just wait uh, because they know they will get the ball. And now we are again in the half of Firenze. And uh, Bamberg is doing their fast uh, passing back and forth and another yeah, goal. Over the goalkeeper, pass down to the other player on the other it side. It looks so easy when they do it. Yeah, like in the book, right? Yeah, it's really like, uh, <laughs> it's really precise uh, working um, from uh, Bamberg. And it's impressive. I like their style of game. It's very open it's, and it's very close to uh, the um, Colombians, to the Orcas. And what? Uh, the, 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 the way of playing the play style when when we saw last year the game of the orcas against uh bamberg that was just like a, a dance so fast all passing swimming no uh one-on-one uh, -on -one fights no uh um oh this is holding on the basket ah, okay he wanted to hold uh, his goalkeeper so we have an attack from the open side from bamberg ball is passing on to the other side back and forth the goalkeeper is... Okay. And the uh, Bamberg player lost the ball, call from the referee, uh, holding at the basket. And uh, free throw against Bamberg. And uh, again, <coughs> Bamberg doesn't even go down uh, in defense. Normally, when when there's a free throw against you, you go down in defense as a goalie and the, a defender. But they just wait. They know they're fast enough and they get away the ball. This time, they didn't succeed. Uh, Firenze made it uh, to the close side, to the uh, basket of Bamberg. But uh, it's pushed. Uh, the, the attack is pushed away to the middle of the pool. And now in the corner of the close side of uh, the Bamberg basket. Yeah, I mean, and they are not, they're just doing what is necessary to keep the Italians. Bamberg. Yeah, because yeah. they know eventually Italy might do uh, a mistake. Yeah. So they can and I have to say, uh, Hannes, the new Hannes, not the old Hannes Hoffmann, but the new Hannes, fits in quite good. He's, he's doing very well. Uh, I only know him from, uh, from his movement. Otherwise, uh, it's just like one more Bamberg. Call from the referee. Uh, referee outside the water made the call. 
Um, there's a question when Orcas plays again, they play at 9.30, meaning at about uh, an hour, an hour, 10 minutes. So Orcas play in... Uh, against Austria. Austria, Australia. 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 So Bamberg is in ball possession again in the closed uh, corner of... Uh, uh, this is pushing, uh, the one of the Bamberg players is pushing the goalie of Firenze. Without ball. Yeah, here I we have the, yeah. the call right. from the referee pushing uh, without ball. Right. So a free throw free against, against Bamberg. Bamberg. Uh, th that, that wasn't necessary, So, but he just wanted to get in, the, in this gap and uh, get the, the, the advantage. Wasn't yeah, necessary at that point. Is also a couple of times when you are there with the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper puts some resistance, and sometimes eventually you come into a pushing without really realizing of it, and then of course the referee sees it. Okay, counter from counter attack from Bamberg. Uh, already three more arrive, and uh, it's just pulling the defender away. The next defender from Firenze is in position, but the ball. Is blocked there from one of the Italians. Look like it's two of the Bamber trying to remove it and both uh, in the corner. Now they're coming from the trying to go around from the corner again. And uh, consistency just you know keeping the ball and uh, eventually the attackers from Firenze cannot uh, help the goalkeepers anymore and the defenders also. Um, I think this is even too easy for um, Bamberg and probably it doesn't make a, a team like Bamberg not as happy to play such an easy start game like um, Samuel from the Orca said. He likes a good hard game for the beginning so you know where you are. If it's too easy in the beginning you're just too self-confident. You shouldn't be but it happens. So we have attack again on the close, uh, on the open side. The uh, the one carrying the ball just they pass back and forth around yeah. the Firenze There's basket. Two minutes left. It's eight uh, goals already, and probably it's going to be two more, and then finish with ten, or maybe <laughs> not. Bamber is just you know playing nice. At the yeah, they, they, they they're not forcing it. They're no. just doing what they in can. The, I think in the first half they they put pressure on, yeah, on and it. Yeah, now they're a bit right more now they're playing and waiting for they're opportunity. Try, they're having fun. Yeah, I mean, they're just having fun right now and practicing, attacking, doing the tactical things they need to do, but uh, without any pressure. Yeah, I think so too. It. It's it's not um, it's not a challenge anymore. Um, one minute, 15 seconds left. And uh, does and Bamberg has another game today? Bamberg, no. No, no. No, tomorrow around 11. <coughs> so, yeah, one minute left and... Uh, Firenze continues defending. Uh, we still stay... Well, F Firenze does not give up. They, they, they just, well, no, there's no defender or too late. And they just don't know how to work against um, this this never-ending attack. You always have the, the impression, even now we have a cluster on the surface, um, right in, on top of the, the Firenze basket, but you have the feeling there is always at least two, one or two uh, Bamberg players at the basket of Firenze waiting for the opportunity to to score. Yeah. And that's coming from the close corner. Um, so here we go again from the open side. He's, he's pulling less, away less the, the for a goal. goalie. Yeah. Then goal one second before or did it count? Yeah it count as a goal. Yeah. Has to be nine zero for Bamberg. The little duck from uh, Langen, Langen. Uzi Langen. Next game will be Uzi Langen. So it was 8 0 or 9 0? I think the last one counted. Right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I saw the, the referee making the. It was one second. Um, so the German team, Uzi Langen against Newark. Newark. 
Denver just played uh, one and a half hours ago against Nasus and lost 11-0. I think they are going to lose like 20-0 against the German team. <laughs> well, 20-0 and, and, and two times 10 minutes is too much, but um, Germans, on my opinion, they are stronger than the Finnish girls or for what I've seen that they played. I mean, of course, uh, the Finnish girls play accordingly to the um, uh, to the upper, I mean, to the Gekna, help me here. Uh, opponent. To the opponent they had, so maybe we didn't see the, the absolutely best, but if this is the best they can bring in a game, I believe Germany, in a good day, play better. And so, that's what I think that the U.S., if they are already maybe they're motivated after the, pl the, the, the game against Nasut, the moment they realize that the Germans are stronger and maybe start making goals, uh, probably they, I think they will achieve more than 11, 15 at least. But let's see. Uh, they have the German team has a lot of stronger players, and for what we saw, the U.S. girls are a bit more. Smaller, they maybe it's faster they move, but they not they're not.